don't know, sometimes we, we have these moments, you know, where you think, all right, for some reason, nature didn't allow us any antimatter, and, and it's, it's hanging out down there, you know. You, I still get a kick out of that. I think that's cool. I, I'll never get over that. <laughs> This is the thing where we produce and trap anti-hydrogen. Uh, the particles come from the anti-proton decelerator over here, and we capture them in this big magnetic field here, what's called a particle trap. So this is kind of the heart of the apparatus. We're getting ready to make an intervention into the device to improve it so that we can shine radiation on these trapped anti-hydrogen atoms. So that's our big push for this year. You can't follow the stock market, right? You have to let it just go for years. But in fact, you, you count how much money you have every day. Here we count every, the number of anti-hydrogen atoms we have every day, and it, it, our mood is either great or... You know. Joe was excitable. He has a complete grasp of the mathematics, of the statistics that he's talking about, but he's completely unable to internalize it. It's an interesting difference between being a scientist and being a person <laughs> who reacts very strongly to these things. I think and we have a lot of characters like this who, who are very emotional about what we do. We've been competing since the 90s, right, on on exactly this, make anti-hydrogen, trap anti-hydrogen, measure anti-hydrogen. It's an interesting environment. There are only a few experiments in the world that can do this kind of thing and they're just meters apart, right? So it's a, it can be tense. <laughs>